My true love hath my heart, and I have his. By just exchange, one for the other given. I hold his dear, and mine he cannot miss. There never was a bargain better driven. Greg isn't the most chatty person you'll ever meet. He isn't even really the second to least chatty person you'll ever meet. But anyone who has had the privilege of his friendship knows that he's the guy you want when you're down, and he's the guy you want when you're up. He's as thoughtful, selfless, and loyal as anyone we know, and it's been a great gift to our lives to have had him as a brother since the moment that he entered. They really get each other. Um, they have this rapport and banter and these weird little voices that they use when they're together. <laughs> and they're always laughing. They're, they're really, they're truly perfect together. Um, and over all of the years I've known Julia and over all of the places that I've seen her, I've, I've never seen my sister so happy as when she's with Greg. Blessed is the creation of joy and celebration, lover and mate, gladness and jubilation, pleasure and delight, love and solidarity, friendship and peace. Soon may we hear in the streets of the city and the paths of the fields the voice of joy, the voice of gladness, the voice of lover, the voice of mate, the triumphant voice of lovers from the canopy and the voice of youths from their feasts of song. Blessed, blessed, blessed is the joy of lovers, one with each other. Now, what we're here to recognize is a marriage, but what we are really celebrating is something far more romantic and much harder to define. A bond. That bond began forming 2,260 days ago, nearly 195 million seconds ago. In the years since that surprisingly good blind date, this couple has enjoyed their fair share of big moments. But from Julia and Greg's first big moment, in the rain, clutching the umbrella, pondering how to get a cab, to the latest moment, as in this very second, at their wedding, they've shared the same bond. In other words, it's a sense that, in each other, they have found By this ring, by this ring, you are consecrated to me. You are consecrated to me as my wife, as my wife, in accordance with the traditions, in accordance with the traditions of Moses and Israel. Of Moses and Israel. By this ring, by this ring, you are consecrated to me. You are consecrated to me as my husband. As my husband. In accordance with the traditions, in accordance with the traditions of Moses and Israel. Moses and Israel. By the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Greg, you may kiss the bride.
Julia, it's been wonderful getting to know you over the last many years. You've become an important part of our lives. You and your family have made us feel as much a part of your lives as we hope you feel of ours. And we rest easy knowing you'll be by his side for any future bums that may come his way. You know, the Boston Public Library was founded in 1852. When it was opened, the papers proclaimed that the library was a palace for the people. So what an appropriate setting for my youngest princess, Julia, and her wedding degree. I'm so happy that you met Greg. And um, Greg, it's impossible for me to imagine a better match for my sister. You're made for each other, and um, I feel lucky that Julia found you, and I cry. Um, and then finally, uh, getting to have you as a brother. So, yeah, congratulations. Let's toast to the bride and groom. Yeah.